Well, on October 23rd, 1945, Brooklyn Dodgers general manager Branch Rickey shocks the world when he announces the signing of Major League Baseball's first black ball player, Jackie Robinson. Dodgers shortstop Pee Wee Reese recalls first hearing the news. I was coming back from the overseas from Guam, and a uh, kid came to me, must have gotten over the wire aboard ship, and said that they'd signed a black ball player. But I was uh, kind of laughed about it and didn't think it would ever happen. Uh, half an hour later, or 45 minutes later, he came back and said, Pee Wee, not only is he black, he is the short stuff. And I said, you've got to be kidding. Manager Leo DeRocher responds to a player petition against Robinson. I said, I don't know about any petition, but they tell me you got one up. And I don't know about any petition, but I'll tell you what you can do with it. Because Robinson's going to play on this ball club. Because I don't look at the color, I don't care if he's green, black, yellow, white. He has talent. And he will put money in your pocket and my pocket. This is some kind of player. And he's going to be here. And I'm warning you now that he's only the first of many to follow. Remember what I tell you right now in this meeting. He's only the first. Brooklyn achieved its greatest fulfillment as a borough, as a city of its own, beginning on that April day in 1947, when in the words of Roger Kahn, a very gifted literateur, everything was white and only the grass was green, except suddenly there was a figure, black, I mean jet black, it was a day when somehow people knew, thoughtful people, educated people, hey, it's not just whites playing a game on a diamond anymore. Forget the architecture so regaled by baseball writers. Suddenly, it was a new beginning. <laughs>